Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm building another vacation home in Solani, one of my favorite worlds when it comes to aesthetics. And I just was in the mood for another build that represents vacation, holiday, summer. Yeah, I mean, it's really hot where I live. It's um, the last few days, it's been over 30 degrees Celsius every day, which is really intense. And I think I belong to the minority by saying that I don't really like summer. And then people always look at me shocked and then I say where I live. You know, I live in middle Europe, so um, I have no ocean, nothing near me. And I love summer when I'm on vacation in Italy or in Spain. It's the best experience ever because I can just go and swim in the ocean and just, you know, cool off. But where I live, I can't do that. So it's not really an enjoyable experience. I mean, luckily I work from home, so I just can stay inside and I can turn on the AC. But oh well, I think I'm getting off topic a bit, so... Let's just go back to the build. Um, that was basically just my inspiration to build a nice vacation home where I would also like to stay. I feel like this would be a nice Airbnb. And this is like on an island in Sulani. And I made it so that there are um, two bedrooms and one huge bathroom. This house is actually not that big because the lot is also not that big. And for some reason I couldn't place any stairs on the left side of the lot. So it kind of just had to be in the middle. I don't know what this weird glitch is, but I just went with it and tried to make it work because the lot is stunning and I really want to use um, this location. And for this build, I really struggled with the style because I want to make it more modern, but I just couldn't decide on the windows and doors. So, so I will change them multiple times throughout this video, <laughs> just as a heads up. But um, that's the most important fact and I'll speak to you in a second. As always, I will list all of the custom content down below in the description box and I will try to categorize it by room and I can already tell you that most of the stuff is just as usual by Felix Sondre and Hey Harry. I don't know, this stuff is just the best. I know I repeat myself every time but I'm just so amazed by how cool the custom content is. And um, yeah, I used lighter colors i will also change the interior a bit i will use a bit more color the main color will be still this kind of steel gray beige and green just so it's not so monochrome i guess and a bit more colorful because it's still a house by the ocean so i feel like it can i don't know use some color so it looks a bit more inviting and um, I also really like the kitchen. The kitchen is something I would normally not do because it's not really my style. And it was really fun. It just really is nice to get out of your comfort zone and just try new, um, I don't know, interior ideas, which is really cool. So I really enjoy how it turned out. And there is a lot of space, like a lot of open space because I didn't want to make it too cluttered. In the end, it's still supposed to be a vacation home. So I don't think there would be too much clutter and personality because you know people change all the time that live here or rent a lot so it wouldn't make much sense
So now the living dining kitchen area is almost done. I just noticed that I always have them like all merged together to a huge big room. I feel like I just really like open plan houses. Um, maybe next time I can try something <laughs> that is not as open plan just for a change. But um, I just feel like this makes it really open and inviting and just like a really nice space. So I don't know, I would like to live here. I mean definitely also just go on vacation here but living here would be just extra nice and um, this is the outside area and the outside area has access to the water you have jet ski or i think they're called aqua zips in the sims 4 <laughs> but you can also grill here you can chill here you can sunbathe so the outside area has everything your sims might need I think the bathroom is one of the most interesting rooms just because it's not really modern and it's kind of a contrast to the rest of the house which is pretty modern but still kind of tropical. I also built a huge shower and you even have <laughs> a bidet here and toilet and a bathtub so I really tried to compensate for the fact that we only have one bathroom here so it had to be big and amazing. It just... Yeah, I, I usually like to build ensuite bathrooms because I feel like this is more luxurious. But there wasn't enough space in this build, so I feel like this is still fine. This bathroom is still bigger than most of the bathrooms I've ever seen in my entire life. This could have been easily another bedroom, but then I wouldn't have any space for a bathroom, so I feel like this was a good choice. So the bedrooms are very similar, they both have the same beds and side tables just because I feel like the landlord wouldn't put too much effort into choosing different kinds of furniture and having the same bed and the same side tables just makes it look cohesive and I don't know, like it's the same house, the same Airbnb, the same style so I just went with it and um, I feel like this room is really cool because on one side you have the bed and this amazing view to the ocean and on the other side you have this more private space where you can get ready so um, I feel like this is a really cozy nook and I really like how it turned out and I hope you like it too. This is the finished build. I will show you the rooms so you can get a nice overview of the entire build. So this is the living room and the kitchen which is also the dining space and um, as I already mentioned it's really open so your sims have a lot of space to do other activities like dancing or <laughs> I don't know talking. I feel like it's just also nice for gameplay. And that's the outside area which is cool. In my opinion, I know I'm, I'm saying a lot of really cool words. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this, but um, I also really like how the bathroom turned out. And as I already mentioned, the bedrooms are pretty much the same or at least really similar. So um, yeah, that's the entire build. And I really hope you liked it. And if you did, 
please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!